No, I. <laughs> that was another super high pitch one. Sorry. <laughs> Hope you're well. Uh, we're going, we're at Battleship Bay, getting the Bioshock Infinite collectibles. Uh, are we? We're on Bioshock Infinite, getting the Battleship Bay collectibles. Anyway, the first Voxophone is there, right near the beginning, under that cart. Uh, then you've got a kinetoscope here. Uh, that's your first kinetoscope, and it kind of glitched out on me. Um, it froze up, so I just quit it. Apologies for that. Anyway, go pick up Elizabeth. She's having a dance. Um, and she's just so happy. Uh, she reminds me of a Disney character, actually. They've made her pretty cool. Anyway, head on through here, through the turnstile, and you'll get into this little room head up here, and across the boardwalk. You'll have to pick a choker here for her. Uh, I pick the bird on my actual playthrough and then pick the cage on this one. The voice is different. I'm pretty sure some of these choices are going to affect the end, but I'm not quite sure how. Anyway, carry on through and open this locked door and head on this way. You'll get to a vending machine and Elizabeth will chuck you a coin. At that point, head straight on through. Ignore the direction marker and go into this room. You'll find your first piece of gear here. And the gear is entirely random. So on my previous playthrough, I got a melee uh, bonus three times melee range, but this time it was something else. And there's a voxophone right next to it. That's voxophone number two. There you go. Then turn around and head back this way, where you'll meet the couple that you were going to throw a ball at, or maybe you chose to throw it at the um, raffle adjudicator. I don't really know the name, but anyway, there's a second piece of gear there. Head in here, and there is the Dick and Dimwit uh, things. I think it's Dick and Dimwit. Dennis and Dimwit, whatever. But next to those around the corner are three kinetoscopes. There. So there's number one. Uh, here's number two, the prophet stands up to foes. Within and without. The Chinese boxers take hostage. Hostages? I, just <laughs> I listened to me trying to do a classic voiceover voice on a previous video and it's hideous. So I'll probably just stop doing them. Either that I'll go and practice in the dark with my poshest English accent and come back and voice them properly. I look back at opening... No, I just said I'd stop. I'm sorry. Given the amount of people who hate my voice on the Borderlands and other videos, I'll probably stop doing silly voices. Anyway, that's uh, three kinetoscopes, numbers two to four. The fifth one is just up here at the end. There it is, uh, solving the Irish problem. Some of these are so wrong. <laughs> just, I mean, oof, it's borderline. You kind of laugh because it's laugh or cringe. It's a bit like The Office. Anyway, there's the fifth kinetoscope. And then turn around and head into the men's bathroom. As with all these levels, I'm rushing through just to get the collectibles, but you should definitely take time to explore all the little side rooms, because there's loads of great stuff to find. Especially if you're saving up money to get all the... Um, all the upgrades to Vigors. You'll need to kind of look in all the corners for cash. And especially if you die as much as I do, you'll be losing cash uh, by the bucket load. Anyway, speak to this dude. You can pull the gun on him and not get stabbed in the hand, or uh, get his attention and get stabbed in the hand like that. Ow! Uh, anyway, deal with the dudes in there, and then head up those stairs to the right, and you'll find Voxophone number four. There. Once you've got that, head down here and take a left, then go left again into this room where the Ticketmaster was. You may have seen an infusion behind him when you were talking to him, so grab that. Then push on through here and take a left through these doors and head down these stairs. I just jumped over the side, but you can go down normally. And around the corner you'll find Voxophone number 5 there. Once you've grabbed that, head back up the stairs to meet Elizabeth. Try not to walk into the wall. Uh, she'll be there and freaking out because you've killed a bunch of people. Uh, pull that lever and you'll have a little chat. So let that go through. And when you get to the top, we're going to be able to grab the telescope from up here. Sorry, I probably should have cut this. But you'll see there, if you got stabbed in the hand, she'll bandage it. If you didn't get stabbed, uh, she won't. So I'm kind of thinking that might have some outcome too. Anyway, there's a telescope there which wouldn't let me play with it until I walk back a bit from it. There we are. But that's your telescope. The uh, So you've got one infusion, five boxophones, five kinetoscopes, one telescope, and two pieces of gear. No optional mission here. On the left is Monument Tower, if you haven't done that yet. Oh, excuse me. And on the right is Hall of Heroes, along with an optional mission there. So choose your next adventure wisely. Anyway, I hope that was useful. I'll see you in the next video. Love, love, bye.